What's going on you guys? Jeff here from Burley Fishing on the Monster Bass channel and I want to talk to you guys about one of my new favorite Ned Rigging baits and that is the Rabid Baits Foxtail. Check this out. Comes in a bunch of amazing different colors. I'm going to break them all down for you today as well as some of my favorite rigging options for it and some hot tips that should help you catch some bass. We'll get to that here in a second. If this is your first time stopping by the Monster Bass channel, be sure to subscribe. There's tons of tips on here. There's some great content creators featured on this channel, and there's more fun stuff coming your way, as well as previews of upcoming boxes and all that good stuff. So be sure to stick around, maybe smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when those other videos drop. And if you would be so awesome as to jump over to my channel for a hot second, Burly Fishing, and drop that a subscription as well, maybe drop me a comment on one of my recent videos and let me know that you came over from the Monster Bass channel. I'd love to see you guys there. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Ned Rigging, Ned Rigging is a very simple concept, a very simple technique to catching bass, and it's freaking deadly. There is a reason that we call it the deadly nedly. All you need to do is grab a jig head, really any type of jig head's fine. We prefer mushroom headed jigs because they sit like this on the bottom. You can also get a similar style with an EWG, which allows you with that extra wide gap there to rig it weedless. So if you're dealing with an area with a lot of cover, maybe some fallen trees, some rip wraps and rocks and things like that, that you normally get snagged on with an open hook even if you have this weed guard from something like these are the, the Z-Man shrooms right here, then you go with that EWG. That'll get you covered, right? And all you do is you take that and you pair it up with a plastic like this amazing Rabid Baits Foxtail. And what you're going to end up with is just a simple plastic jig combo that's going to sit flat on the bottom like this. And you honestly don't even need to do anything at that point. So we're just going to drop this bait into some key areas where we find bass and just let it sit there. We can dead stick it and kind of hop it on the bottom like you would a shaky head. We can lift it and let it fall. We can swing it back to the boat. We can do all sorts of things. You can even swim this thing just like this all the way back to the boat. It just does a pretty dang good job of representing like a dying, wounded, feeding bait fish. So it's good in so many different scenarios. This is one of those baits when used at the right time in the right place is going to yield you like 30, 40, 50 fish. You're going to crush it. And I've done that myself multiple times. It's a good time. It's a great bait. And it's one I usually have tied on on the old finesse rod as a backup ready to go anytime I'm out on the water. More specifically, this rabid baits foxtail is going to help yield more bites just because of this right here. So what we have or what you'll notice right up at the top is we have actual fox fur that is tied into the plastic. So it's molded right in. It's not coming out. It's gonna be fairly durable up there and it provides an insane action that plastics cannot mimic. You just can't, you can't beat that. And it looks even better in the water. So I'm gonna show you guys that here in just a second. Before I do, real quick, I want to show you all the colors that this thing comes in and what we typically rig it with. So I'm going to give you some suggestions there. When you buy this bait from Rabbit Bait's website, you're going to see that they have about 10 different colors. I've got seven here that I can share with you guys. And they're also sold in a six pack. So you get a decent number of these. So here we have like this green pumpkin with this like chartreuse fur tail. Look at that. That stuff. This is actually one of my favorite colors right here. My second favorite is actually this one right here. This is called Ghost. So it comes with this white. I've used this one a bit. That's why it looks kind of funky. <laughs> but you got like the white fur up there. Look at the color though. That like almost electric shiner flake gives you that, that flash, right? Looks good. And then the plastic is pretty clear. Love that color. Great finesse color. We got the, the ruby red here with that nice red tail some red flake in the plastic. Got like some gray to the tail on this one with some gold flake, gold and black flake in there. Look at that. More of a brownish plastic. We got the, the dark green with some gold dust in there. Look at that. A little added flash to that one. Looks good. We got the black and green pumpkin. So some black flake in there, black fur tail and the green pumpkin plastic. We got the one we're gonna toss in the tank. I really like this one too. So this is like more of an orange. 
and red flake in the plastic with, look at this tail, it's got like highlights on the tip. This is the most fox-like looking one that I would choose maybe from the pack. And I've got this one paired up. This is the one we're gonna test in the tank here. I've got this paired up with a 1 6 ounce Wu Tungsten Ned rig head. When rigging these things, there's a couple things you need to know. Rabbit Baits plastics are a softer plastic, which means they're less durable. So the thing to keep in mind with this is that it's a finesse bait. Treat it as such. This is not a Z-Man plastic. However, it has a ton more action than a Z-Man plastic is going to have. It can still last you for several fish, no problem, if you rig it right. So these I prefer to have rigged up on lighter wire Ned heads. If I'm getting Wu Tungsten, for example, I'm going like one aught, maybe smaller uh, size hook. So light wire hook, it's not going to beat up the plastic as much when you're threading it on and it'll stay on for much longer. Also keep in mind as you're fishing this thing that you want to be subtly aggressive. You can't be overly aggressive. So I wouldn't fish this the same as if I had a Z-Man plastic on this here EWG Ned because I can beat the crap out of that. That is something where I'll throw it into any cover. I'll bounce it around. I'll hop it over logs and rocks and not worry about it. With the rabbit baits net, I'm going to toss that in front of like weed lines. I'm going to use it when I'm bed fishing. It's a bait that's really going to excel when you're dead sticking and maybe doing like little baby hops. Subtle movements are going to excel with this bait. As far as the setup goes that you should be using this with, I've mentioned this setup on the Monster Bass channel before. My go-to is a Ducket Silverado. This is a seven foot medium power fast action rod. I like that fast action tip because you're gonna get subtle bites. So you wanna be able to just lift up and have that hook right into the fish's mouth, right? We don't need to play the fish as much. It's a single hook. Fish will be pinned, it'll be fine. As far as that medium rod, I think that's necessary, or even a medium light, just so that you get more sensitivity, so it's easier to sense, feel the fish, feel the cover that you're going over. All of that helps a lot when you're trying to detect those subtle bites. Now, as far as the line goes, I go with a high-vis yellow line. We got some Power Pro 10-pound test here because you're gonna get a lot of the bites where you just see it in the line before you actually feel it. You get some really subtle bites. So you need a, as sensitive a setup as you can go with. The high vis yellow line is just gonna help you out a bit more. And then I like to throw on a little fluoro leader. So I've got about seven foot leader here, fluorocarbon line at about an eight pound test. I've been using this setup for Ned Rig fishing for a long time and I've had a ton of success with it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend go get it. All right, to wrap this up, let's take these foxtails, put them underwater. You'll see the amazing action. I think you'll agree. It's a pretty fantastic Ned Rig bait. Boom. Look at that fox fur. I'm not doing anything. There's no aerator in here. There's no current. Now imagine you drop this, like I said, it excels in open water conditions. Drop this in a spot where you've got current, you've got wind, you've got all sorts of movement in the water. So that fox fur is going to be doing that consistently and that's gonna look good. This thing I guarantee is gonna draw you guys bites. It's gonna look good. You can optionally drop shot this, right? Throw it with a tube style weight and rig it. You can rig this weedless on a tiny, like a one-aught small EWG. You can use Daiichi standout drop shot hooks. I think you can rig it up really well with that and you can go weedless You can get into tough cover and it's gonna look good. But just look at, even just here, Ned rigged. This is such a unique, amazing plastic. You guys need to try this out. All right, you guys, so that is the Rabid Baits Foxtail. If you're getting your Monster Bass box this month for the month of December, you might see that in there. So stay tuned. Be a subscriber. Go to monsterbass.com, get your subscription. Type in this code, all caps, SAVE10, and you'll get 10 bucks off your first box. Go for the regional box. I think they're pretty phenomenal. It's kind of what we do the best. So check it out, enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for being on the Monster Bass channel. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe for more. Smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell. And of course, if you want more reviews, unboxings and different stuff, you can hop over to my channel. So subscribe to my channel for more content like that. I appreciate you very much. Would love to see you over there. And drop me a comment. Let me know if you came from the Monster best channel. You guys have been awesome as always, so just stay tuned for our next video with more tips and tricks from awesome creators on this channel. We'll see you guys out on the water.